Hi everyone, I'm Sordat. I'm support from TSM. Today I want to talk to everyone that the biggest mistake uh, support make in Solar 2. Special thanks to Logitech G to sponsor this video and let's go! The Owls of Dombo! Dive it is getting shut down! Oh, the Owls might get caught. What a perfect pulverize! Oh, oh. Good stun, Snubbin' Raheel pop. Zonia's Hourglass is stop on, but this man is absolutely dead. There are uh, three good timings you can roam. The first timing is when you push up uh, uh, your lane uh, to their turret, and your ID carry you wanna recall. This timing is a good roam timing. And the second timing is when you watch the mini map and you you see the timing that your jungle and mid is gonna, uh, are gonna fight, and then you can choose to roam before this fight happens. And the third timing is when you when your lane is losing a lot, and then you can just say to your AD, okay, bye bye. You try to survive by yourself, and I go. I'm trying to roam to get the lane phase uh, end. Usually, I I roam to mid more, but. Sometimes also have a good chance you can roam to top. Just like after you buy the mobility boots, you have the faster movement speed. So you even if you roam to top, your AD carry also will not lose that much. And also if your top laner have a good champion, just like Malphite or Camille, this kind of champion you can easier to gank their top lane, and it's it's also a good chance you to roam to top. Sometimes, uh, if you over roam, your level will fall too much behind. Uh, you need to make sure that this timing that you roam will change something in, in the map. Or you roam when, when the lane is slowly pushing back. This is also a good timing to roam, because after you roam and you back to bot lane, you can get all the experience from that uh, big stacking wave. In solo queue, you cannot change your AD carries um, playstyle. So you need to, um, as soon as possible, when you go onto lane, and you need to understand, oh, this, this AD carry, what's his playstyle? If he play aggressive, you can try to play around him and try to make more trade in lane phase. And if your AD carry looks like his position is uh, want to be, uh, be safer, you can try to find a good timing to roam and try to uh, open all the map. That's what I do in solo queue. When your AD carry is uh, recalling and you have the, you have two choices you can do it. First is mm, you try to freeze the lane and enemy AD want to base. And the second the second way to snowball is you try to mm, you try to hide in the fog and vision and, and then when uh, enemy mid lane will have the pressure that because you don't know that you are recalling or you are roaming to mid, it also helps your mid laner easier to lane. Locket is the really important item that you can change the team fight by, by it. So, what you should do is before the team fight, and you need to think about that what's your important member in your, your team, and what's the scariest skill uh, from enemy champion, just like Orion Shockwave or Malphite ult, and then you need to use that when you need to react and use that before they use it. Yeah. If you if you buy Shrelia, it's easier to use. Just like when the team fight start and you want to engage, you just press it. I think um, some of the support player not really know that uh, when you're in laning fa phase, the lane bush control is really important thing because when you control the, the bush. You can um, easier to engage to close the distance with enemy. When you go to the, uh, go to the lane, the most important thing is try to control the middle laning bush, and then enemy AD will have really uh, much pressure from that. I more prefer that playing the engage or roaming support champion in solo queue. The reason why I think that is because um, if you play the laning support just like the champion that you give the shield or give kill this kind of champion you only can impact, impact only in bot lane but if you play the champion like bard or thrash or alistar you can be the second jungle in the rift you can change whole map not only in laning phase this kind of champion is easier to to win in solo queue that's what i think about alistar or leona this kind of aggressive champion you need to 
let your position be really in front of your carries, uh, even in lane phase or team fight. And also, you need to think about that. What time is the best timing that I can engage? And after I starting the fight, I also need to make sure I can survive until the team fight end. And if you play the champions like Soraka, Lulu, or Sona, you need to use your range to poke the enemies, and also you need to understand that your champion is really Twitch champion, so you need to make sure that after you do the damage, you also need to survive. This is really important thing. You need to make sure that you understand all the map, what's what happening on all the map, and then you can easier to decide that you want to play it uh, aggressive or play uh, defensive right now. I like to use uh, Logitech uh, G Pro. It's because um, it's a small mouse and my hand is not really big, so it's a really for me it's really common. And also, you can change the DPI from this tool, and it will let you easier to control the, the mouse. If you want to be a good support player, the vision control is also really important. I think the, the main thing you need to do is you try to don't let enemy sweep all of your vision bar. Usually I press tap a lot when I play playing games because I, I need to know that how many uh, sweep uh, they, they have and also I need to understand how many pink bars they have. You can easier to decide that which spot you can put the vision. Just like, okay, if enemy don't have the pink ward, you can put your your ward deep, even in, in the jungle. And in the other side, you also need to focus on uh, counting how many wards that enemy have. Just like, you need to always press tap and try to count that how many wards they put, and then you will know that what position they put the ward, and you can easier to sweep. Because you should not only focus on put your ward, you also need to focus on sweep all of the enemy ward. After you put your wards, you need to try to protect your wards. So the best timing you put ward is uh, when your lane is is pushing towards their turret. So your AD carry also can try to protect your, your wards together. Usually I, I will put the pink ward uh, at a really important um, spot, just like the bot lane tri-bush or in the dragon pit, because this bot is really important that can change the game. Because when enemy don't know where are you doing dragon or or not, then enemy also really hard to decide that should they start hero or no. And if I put the ward deeper, then I will put the side stone or trinity ward because that position enemy will easier to to sweep it, but you need to make sure your ward um, can survive as long as possible. Sometimes I also do the mind game just like, because you know that enemy support have a uh, sweeper, so sometimes you just walk uh, near the bush and press S and fake, fake enemy support, maybe you put the ward at there and then you just use sweeper. And it will help you a lot because after you use sweeper, you will have at least one minute to put your ward free because he can't sweep. At level one, if I want to put the ward and recall to change to sweeper, usually I watch all the map champions just like, okay, enemy, if enemy jungler is uh, Ingrid or Nidalee, this kind of champion that can level two up through the wall and invade your jungle, uh, usually I put the ward at the river because you will you will know that he he will invade your jungle. You know? It helps your jungle a lot. And if you play the matchup like Thresh versus the mage champion Karma or something, the the bush control is really important. So usually I put the ward at the middle bush of bot lane. And also you need to understand that what the value that you put this kind of the word. If enemy jungle is Evelyn, you need to put your ward on enemy jungle camp. And if enemy jungle is Zed, you need to really put some ward uh, deeper because you need to check where he will engage from because this kind of champion is different with another champion. 
if you're another lane for behind, but it's also not really in a bad situation because usually after enemy kill your another lane, they use some summoner spell, so you try to punish him, uh, then you can turn turn back your game. So when you play support, you have more time to check in the summoner spell and don't forget this this habit because it will help you a lot in solo queue. Everyone makes mistakes, so even if sometimes you're, you're buckling falls behind, what you should do is you try to calm down and try to don't let enemy that easy to snowball and also you try to think about all the map and then you will have another opportunity to change the game, not only in laning phase. If your mid and jungle have uh, a a big lead, you can try to play around them. It also will help your bot lane to breathe. When you play this kind of uh, range support champion, you need to play, play really well in your laning phase. So what I will do is, uh, I will when the game starts, I will just run to here and put one bot here. And then, and then when I put that, then I change to a super. And when I go to the laning phase, I will have the advantage from this uh, this bush. So when enemy go to uh, go into this bush, you try to let him know to have the what. And when your AD carry can do the damage on him, you guys uh, can do the damage in the same time and help them. And he will take a really big chunk. After that, he knows that uh, there's a what, so you can start to hide in the bush. And when you hide in the bush, uh, your enemy enemy AD carry need to. Uh, CS, right? And when he do the CS, you, you use because he don't know uh, you are hiding in this bush, so you will hit your skill shot easier. When you uh, control the, the bush, what you should do is you, you try to don't use your auto attack in the bush because when you use your auto attack in your bush, enemy will will, will have your uh, vision. You, when you want to hit the minion, you should stack. Uh, go out the bush and hit the minion and, and then hide in, in the bush. Hit the minion and hide in the bush. So enemy just never will have the, the, the vision. So enemy will really feel really hard to play because he never have the, your, your vision. So you can poke them easier but enemy really hard to hit the skill shot. Uh, when the game start, uh, Level 1 is really important for your bot lane because if you have a good stack standing wave at the first wave, you will hit level 2 easier. And when you hit level 2, enemy will, will not that easy to lane because if they want to trade with you, they will lose a lot. And you also will have the chance and uh, use this kind of stacking wave to, to give enemy jung jungler pressure or, or also put some vision in their deep jungle, so it will help you open the map a lot. The spot uh, you can put the vision is uh, when, when you're pushing lane and the lane the lane uh, is slowly bouncing back, you can put the vision block, like the chicken block at here, and then you will you will have the chance can let your mid lane or top lane use the teleport to flank your enemy bot lane. You also can go to here to put the, the one. It will make your it will make your jungle jungler easier to fight at the bot top. So you need to know that the ward at here, if enemy jungler go to here, go to the end here, you cannot see. You cannot see. So this ward, you also need to care about that. The jungler comes to here to invade your jungle. Usually I put uh, pink ward at here, here, or here. Uh, when I am in landing phase, after you put the ward at here, enemy will not let easy to go go to the river. And if you put the ward at here, enemy also 
not that easy to connect with their jungle jungler and mid lane. So it will help you a lot. So try to put your pink guard at a really important uh, spot and put your trinket guard to to the deeper spot. It will become easier to control all of them. Okay. <laughs> you can relax at I don't have a girlfriend yet. <laughs> you can get one. I thought you said you had a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you had a girlfriend to take to Disneyland. I have, I have a girlfriend at Shanghai. Before, mm. before, before. Oh. No, no, no.